Let's talk about a real simple drill, something that you guys can do that would no doubt make a massive difference to your game. And all you're going to need for this is a couple of alignment sticks. Okay, now, first alignment stick, you're going to pop it down on the floor and it's going to represent your target line. Okay, like so. The second alignment stick, you can do one of two things. You can either, if you've got an old club that you don't mind sacrificing, you can push it through, like so you make a nice shaft extender, or you can hold it underneath. The one common problem that causes a lot of golfers um, inconsistency, and I, I see it a lot with, with students who come out for lessons or online students, whatever, is the hands and arms move too close towards the body like so. And the problem is, is when your arms move too close towards your body, your right arm ends up then kicking out like this. And it sort of triggers your right arm to move what would be classed as, I suppose, into internal rotation like so. And then this makes the club kind of get a little bit steep or if it doesn't get the club a little bit steep tend to find good golfers will sort of move the trail arm like this they'll keep the club on plane but then this is why you end up with like a re-grip of your trail hand off the club and what I'm trying to say is from this position what will happen is it's going to be really difficult for your trail arm to come down and support you in the downswing and it's often going to get really stuck so what we want to do as this sort of simple exercise is you want to get set up to the golf ball okay you want to first of all as you take that club back you want to make sure the club head travels through the line so it goes nice and straight back and then if i pause at left arm horizontal you want to make sure the club shaft is pointing down towards your the, the target line like so now if you choose from this position to swing longer then it's absolutely fine for your upper arm so my trail upper arm to move up and away from my body but the important thing is can you see the way the club still continues to travel in a straight line now, as you then come in towards the downswing, what you then want to do is obviously make sure that, that club shaft continues to travel through that line. Okay, and this keeps the hands and arms nice and in front of the body. And if you're advanced enough and you're ready, you can start working on turning your chest in a simultaneous movement. And that's how you end up looking similar to what we see with all the professional golfers, where the hands and arms are nice in front of the body. And then the club again can travel through the target line in towards this position and then yet again continuing through that target line in that post impact position but to be honest i think if you uh, a golfer that's looking for just a bit more consistency if you can get into a good position at left arm horizontal here up to the top and back into a good position here that would be enough and so what i tend to do with students if i sort of just move this now so it's faced on okay and i'm just going to grab another uh, little marker here i'll tell you what we're going to use going to use my coffee cup and I'm going to place it about a foot okay to the right of that golf ball there if I sequence this movement correctly so if I take that club back nice and straight back obviously avoiding my mug and then pausing at lead arm horizontal you can see the way the club shaft is pointing down towards my mug and the thing that it's important here is that if you're somebody whose arm is too close towards your body can you see the way that this is no longer pointing and that's a great indication for good width and then what you can do is you can rehearse then coming down that line and getting that club head down on towards that mug. And that's a really good feeling here for almost getting into a good position and then feel like you're throwing it down towards that target line. And that will help you in a big way. But the key thing is keep your arms in front of your body here, a little bit more, and then back here. And if you can do that, I promise you, you're going to find a tremendous amount of consistency. See you soon.